Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Speedway Signature Event, checking in with team number 3141V, Yoinky Spelunky. Say that five times. Uh, absolutely phenomenal season for this team, by the way. Won the Mall Signature Event. Congratulations. You won three out of your four tournaments as well, too. And they're on their third iteration of their robot. I can't wait to talk about a lot of really cool things with that. Uh, just the overall packaging of this robot is so good. Of course, we'll be covering their wings, their intake, what they've been doing with their left. So much more coming up on this team, coming up on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Grace, let's start off on your robot, talking about your left. Your team has done so many iterations uh, so far this year in the over-under uh, season. Talk to me about uh, what your lift is comprised of and any changes you made, too. Yeah, so originally in our first robot, we had a flywheel, so we didn't have any kind of lift mechanism at all. And then our second robot, we had a catapult, which then gave us a high arc and a low arc shot. We then switched to our lift, which gives us the ability to shoot over blockers. So if you want to push it up. Yeah, so here's our lift. So with our lift, it is piston powered. This helps us to conserve our motors. And then we have our puncher slash kicker on top. And that's what gives us our match loading abilities within it. When you're looking uh, during a match for mid, are you match loading right away? Where does your match strategy typically fall under? Yeah, so if we are the designated match loaders, we will attempt to match load pretty much right away to make sure we can get those off as soon as possible for the ability to score. If we're not the uh, planned match loaders, we can match load um, on the fly if we need to as well. You mentioned that uh, you went to a, a piston powered for your left before you had a flywheel, right? So yes. are you saving a motor from that? And if so, is that going somewhere else? Uh, yeah, so we are saving that motor. So we have the motor on the intake, but then we also have the ability to have a six motor drive and then also have a designated motor just for the puncher. Very cool. Love, love that as well, too. And the iterations are really great as you've gone through it. Let's continue on talking about your uh, intake. We just mentioned uh, the motor on that as well, too, Mackenzie. So talk to me more about uh, what your intake is comprised of, any changes throughout the season. Yeah, so our intake has stayed pretty much very, uh, with a very similar design this, the entire season. We have a flex wheel intake that just spins back and forth. A big thing that we've wanted to do is have the ability to reverse it because that's honestly one of our biggest things. <laughs> the intake does not go straight to the shooting mechanism which I think is definitely a different thing compared to a lot of teams. So we just have it stop and then uh, push it back out right into the goal. So this allows us to uh, score really quickly. Looking at, you know, this is, uh, you've had several events so far. You said you haven't done much from the iterations of your intake. Uh, do you look at potentially making changes later on during the season, or are you pretty happy with this still? Um, I think we're pretty happy with it. The couple changes that we have made is to kind of the base of the intake, where you can kind of see the plastic instead of, we used to have rubber bands to that kind of formed to the, um, that kind of formed like to the tri balls, but those kind of broke a lot. So we decided that a plastic would still give us solid and flexibility to grip those tri balls. Very cool. As we uh, wrap up on this robot, uh, we got to talk about the wings uh, that you have as well too. So talk to me more about uh, what's gone into those, uh, the wings, Josh, and any changes of course that you made from them. I like the overall uh, packaging you've done for this and very wide as well too, which is great. So with our wings, uh, we went with a more flexible design. Um, they actually fold at the edges, so they kind of curve to the walls, um, and they help corral the tri balls well, uh, while also being strong enough to not break, but they bend and absorb that impact. Um, we use a double acting piston, uh, but we use the rubber band to pull it back, uh, so it's very fast going out, um, and we actually use that in our autons um, to help slap the tri ball right in front of the goal before we push it in. With, with all your success you've had this season so far, what do you, you know, as you look at the evolution of the meta of the game, you're continually changing your robot, right? Uh, like, what do you attribute to your keys to success so far in this season? Um, I think kind of constantly changing and being open to new designs. Um, our first robot, it worked well. It won the tournament, but we immediately rebuilt it because we knew there was something better we could do. Um, and just, yeah, kind of looking at all the other teams and seeing what they have and combining those into our own robot uh, is a really good thing. Last thing I got to ask you on here with the, the Yonky Spelunky name, I noticed you got a pumpkin pie as your logo as well. What, like, how does this all tie in together from a team brand? 
Um, so the pi comes from our team number uh, 3141, which is the number pi. Yep. Um, and when we were first uh, becoming a team two years ago, um, we really had no idea what we wanted to name our team. So we asked a bunch of people, and one of our alumni came up with this name. Um, and we had a whole organization-wide vote, um, and everyone loved it. And yeah, we just stuck with it. Well, awesome. Yonkies Planky, thank you so much. Uh, 3141V, of course, here at the uh, Speedway event. Uh, big things have already happened. I'm sure you're looking for a great uh, performance here at Speedway, so good luck the rest of the way, and can't wait to see how your team does. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.